Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flitter Mouse. After we set off a 12 gauge shotgun shell outside the chamber of a shotgun, everyone thought we did something wrong. We were just showing what happens when a shell goes off outside the chamber. But a lot of people said, oh, we should have used a pipe or we should have wrapped it with duct tape or used a brass shell. Well, we listened to you guys. This video is sponsored by Colorful Happy Fun Paper Clips now available in three exciting colors. These are now 72% lead free. In all seriousness, I want to thank our Patreon supporters for making this video possible. In order to put a 50 BMG in a 12 gauge fifth ops perimeter alarm, Danny had to make a few modifications. He had to extend the firing pin, but he also had to make the special uh, kind of a 12 gauge to 50 BMG adapters that kind of clamp around the base of the 50 BMG. I, I salute his ingenuity. Danny and I got way back, got behind cover, and Danny pulled the string. Let's watch what happens. Alrighty. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Very good. Well, let's see what happened. Here it goes. The brass case again blew up. It seemed to be the weakest link. The bullet traveled along at a pretty low velocity but the brass fragments were going pretty fast. Okay, can you pull that thing out? We didn't just... Didn't destroy this at all. There's the base of the of the shell, we found a... I saw that one actually flying at us, flying towards us actually, in slow motion. And there's the bullet. Yeah, the bullet I don't know... bullet was laying right here. Yeah, a lot of unburnt powder all over the table, of course. These large grains here. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Oh, at least the case landed Stop on the, the table case. last time. Now, we never found the bullet on this shot. It wasn't in the gel. But look at it. That brass case just banana peeled back. A lot of unburnt powder once again. But where the bullet went, we do not know. But it did not go into the gel at all. The, the old cantaloupe test. Yeah, this is Carl's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Carl. All right. And now we're gonna see how much energy it has in a confined area of the cantaloupe. Wow. So turn away, kids. It's getting graphic. Okay. <laughs> Don't try this at home. We're what you call professionals. Or something. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good and tight. German specs. Fourth time's a charm. There we go. Yeah. Yay! All right, here we go. There goes the bullet off to the left. It was going pretty good. But look at that melon. It just blew it into a bunch of pieces. Now, this was our fourth attempt on this shot alone. The firing pin was either fouled with powder or it was slightly bent from the other uh, experiments. I think so too. That was your hand wrapped around that. Your hand, you know, that yeah. would have blown your hand off, I think. Yeah. Look at that. Would not have felt good. It blew the primer right out of that one. There's our primer. Oh, wow. Yep. 50 cal primer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the bullet went. We'll hopefully see that on high speed. But yeah, it, it threw that, uh, the pieces of melon quite a distance. Oh yeah, easily 40 feet all directions. Yeah, it was kind of muffled because it was inside there too. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured it would kind of contain it and get yeah. our, uh, the bullet to actually go forward. Yep. Which apparently it did. Yeah, didn't put Kevlar behind that one, but maybe we might be able to find it, I don't, I don't know. Definitely wouldn't want to be holding that. Yeah, because I heard a story of 
of some guy who had a 50 cal round. He was holding like that, and for whatever reason, he slammed it on a table or something, and it went off. Ooh. And it just mangled his hand up. That's a little story from Matt V. 2099, in fact. Yeah. He told me that the other day. It's like, he goes, you ought to put in some clay. And it's like, well, my clay's all dried up, but we got a cantaloupe there. Mm. Well, there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll take the time to rate the video, too, if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, we do listen to your comments. Uh, it was easier to find 50 BMG rounds than it was to find brass case shotgun shells, believe it or not. So that's the route we took. And we, want, again, want to thank our Patreon supporters for making this video happen. But what's the name of the music?